Hello, hardcore people. This is hardcore one. Only talk about hardcore content, no nonsense. Okay, today's hardcore method zero one. Today's method sharing will make you study better and significantly improve your scores. Especially suitable for students in the junior high school, the high school, and the university. Okay, let's go. The first thing, you know, the first step. When you are in the class, you must have a clear, logical understanding of the knowledge taught in class. What do we need to do? Note keywords. Okay, don't take notes all the time during the class. Don't take notes all the time. Note the keywords. Because it, I mean, it's too difficult for most people to take notes while listening carefully to what the teacher is saying. You know, this is judging from my many years experiments. I am a normal person, of course. Of course, special circumstances are included. For example, the teacher asking you to write down the key points or typical cases. In that time, you need to listen to the teacher's instructions. The most important thing is to understand the teacher's content in class. Don't think about uh, review review after class or not listen carefully in the class because in class, listen to the teacher is the, the most time-saving way to clarify the logical structure of this chapter. If you want to review what, what the teacher said after class, it is definitely the most time-consuming and inefficient. inefficient. The most, the most important purpose of keywords are clarify your knowledge structure so that you are less confused about the knowledge point of this chapter. For example, if this chapter, if, if this chapter talks about a certain molding method, that's my major, polymer materials, polymer uh, process, then this chapter will uh, definitely include what this process is, what is the constants of, what the machine is, is what's advantage, and what's disadvantage, or, sh or shortcomings, yeah. Right? We can see that this is a logical system, including step by step, one, we have the boss, one, two, three, and the bum, 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 you know? So, step one, okay? Listen carefully to the class. Write down the keywords of this chapter and draw your own mind map. It is enough that you can tell what you learned in this class after a class in that time. That's enough. Listen carefully to the teacher's emphasis. Okay? Why are the important things? Because the emphasis, the part, is most likely the content of the exam. You know, you, you will know something. <laughs> Of course, the previewing in advance is definitely useful. Just take a look. If, if you don't review, that is okay. If you don't understand something after class, you must ask your teacher in that time. You know? Your mind is clearest at this time, and you can solve the problem at this time. So don't leave it until after class. The step two, take the time to figure out all the specific information. This process consumes the most energy and is, is very tiring. But this process is also the key to your learning. You know, you need to review, review, and review again, such as books, uh, or teacher's PowerPoint, or something. Okay, I have finished the review by myself, but how to review? You know, for me, my own method is write down my thoughts on the, this knowledge point. Like, why is this? Why is that? How to explain it? You know, because I never trust my own brain. You know, I never trust this, which is always lazy. Only when you write it down, can you know whether there are any mistakes in your thinking about this knowledge. When you review, you will definitely encounter things that you don't know and don't understand clearly. Don't be, don't be anxious at this time. The solution is very simple, you know, ask your teacher or classmates. Believe me, 
teachers always like students who like to ask questions. If he got, if he gets annoyed, then you can continue to ask. You know, maybe, maybe you have become familiar with the teacher. If there are any competition opportunities in the future, the teacher will think of you. You know, as a positive person. Another way is to use the YouTube YouTube videos or Google. There must be what you want in YouTube videos to take the time to understand. Thanks the internet age. That's why you found me and I found you. <laughs> okay. When you get it all, remember the most important parts. Okay. It is to write a book. Write a book. Why do I use the word book? In my opinion, because if you write notes by yourself, then what you write will be shorted and abandoned, omitted. Your brain deceives you. You understand this knowledge point. Now you understand. But if you go back to review your notes after one month or a few months, the notes will be deleted at this time. I mean, it's not the whole thing, you know. And the review effect will be poor. The review is not comprehensive. So, I want you to write a book yourself. Not only write about knowledge points, but also your own understanding of the knowledge. Continue to deepen the impression. Also, the notes that you write particularly carefully can be sold to other students, or used as your test book when you're teaching to lower graduate grad students during the holiday. Become your eternal wealth. Paint it into a word document. And they use, you know, social media or something, or your school's social media to sell your notes. Maybe you can make a lot of money in just one vacation. People should maintain a kind heart. Okay. When other students encounter difficulties, help them in time. Don't be selfish. Okay. Lend them your notes. Believe me, good deeds will be rewarded. If you guys have some competition, that that's another thing. To sum up. The part two, okay? Write a book, a detailed book of chapters, or unity, or this book, or something, yeah, or the, the major, or your subject, okay? Of course, writing is not the end. You need to spend time and memorize it. Don't lie to yourself. If you don't know it, you won't know it. If you don't remember it, you won't remember it. It's painful, but it's right. It's the Real world. If you want to learn while, you have to do this. The third step: teaching others. Teaching is not just a practice for yourself. You know, it's more about teaching your friends, right? The young man in front of the video screen. You must have experienced going to a girl's house to teaching girls. And I hope you guys really study. <laughs> okay. We think that in a class, you know, in a class, there must be classmates who don't study so well. If you if you are a good learner in in this class or a person with a strong ability to understand the knowledge, then they will definitely be classmates who will ask you questions. Don't be sitting with with your knowledge. Share it. It won't have much impact on you because in the process of teaching. You know, teaching, talking, or something. You are also exercise yourself. Let, let me think. A person, a person, okay. A, a person only reads books every day, every day. But he doesn't speak. Okay, the other person also reads it every day, but he likes to give lectures to others and uh, and has even become a a little teacher uh, among his classmates. What do you think studies while? It's ob it's obviously the later, the like to teaching, like to talking, right? And for example, if he repeats a question again and again, he will become the most powerful person. And I hope you will too. In the process of teaching others, you will definitely find out what knowledge points you still lack. Remember to ask questions and make up for time, for for them in time. To sum up. The third step, okay, 
keep teaching, keep talking, teaching it to yourself, teaching it to your friends or others or something, and tell it in the most understandable way. You know, you will definitely get well. All right, the third steps are finished. The logic, the first one, logic for the knowledge points and the mind mind. The second one, write a book, write everything in this chapter in your own language. You know, use your way to explain this thing, and and review all the information points again and again and and, and again. Okay. The third step, teach others, teach yourself, teach your friends, teach your little brother or, or something. You know, try to let them understand your thing. Okay, I'm done. And I hope you can. I I hope you guys can really give it a try according to this method, and you will learn clearly and know which stage you are at, which stage you still don't quite okay, and you still don't quite understand or or are not very proficient in, or proficient in. I believe you will get better. And、uh, I also know that there will be people who will not do it after watching the video, but I hope that person is now you. Go ahead and try. We are still young, just like the Nike at your feet. Just do it, okay? Remember, don't lie to yourself, hardcore people. The hardcore method zero one sharing completely, com completed, com completed, okay? If you think. It's useful. Remember to like it and share it with your friends, your brothers, your sister. We all continue to get better, even if we are normal people. Okay? If if what I said really helps you, that would be my honor. Yeah, this is hard. <laughs> my honor. Okay. Remember to subscribe to my channel Hardcore One. We will see you in the next video. All live, all live learning streaming. Bye.